What's up, guys? Welcome to the CodaCast. My name is Brian Bermudez, and I'm the host of the Craft of Their Podcast. Podcast not just for aviation enthusiasts or professionals, but also those with a general interest in aviation. Join us on our journey as we explore the horizon of aviation together. I'm so glad that you guys are tuned in to this episode. You know, we're going to get into a really hot debate, it's, it's, and, and, it's, and it's, it's growing in intensity. It's growing in intensity. I'm going to say it. This is an aviation debate. It's growing. It's coming up now. And we speak about whether the men and women who maintain and repair airplanes in the United States, should they be called aircraft mechanics or aircraft engineers? Yeah. Every other country in the world, by the way, calls us aircraft engineers. Uh, Just... Just throwing it out there. While the term aircraft mechanic, it's been the standard, the standard terminology in the United States for many years. But many people are arguing that that term aircraft engineer, it's more accurate and reflective of the skill and the expertise needed in our profession. Nah, you're going to be, you got to sit around for this one. First things first. Today's episode of the CodaCast is brought to you by Craft of the Air. Let's stop memorizing outdated content. Are you not understanding or don't have enough time to study your aviation maintenance content? Are you in the field of aviation and you're tired of searching endlessly for unreliable data? Craft of the Air is a second you when you need it. Consulting by Coda has resources that can excel any aviation project. And you take a personalized approach to each client's needs offer advice regarding innovative solutions and content to help you make confident decisions fa licensed professionals and aviation knowledge experts get it from coda stop it are you an ap student test your airman's knowledge before the federal a p license exams and expand your current aviation maintenance knowledge cram by coda offers aviation maintenance learning solutions that can support and help you with training school FAA and career exams, and it's tailored just for you by a certified AMP and subject matter expert. Visit www.craftedair.com. Again, that's www.craftedair.com today. You got to do it today. Get your free initial consultation. Craft of the air. Our craft is of the air. Now I gotta mention it. <laughs> you know, it's it's coming up. It's been coming up. It's a hot topic. It's been debated over. It's coming up in recent news. And it's coming to light now. Of course, of course. Because now it, the shortage, the aviation labor shortage is coming to light. And, and now, now the focus is pilots and mechanics. What's a mechanic? An aircraft mechanic? Who's that? What's that? Who is this person? What is this, a wizard? They fix airplanes? How do they even get a license? You know, we we speak about this. And if you go back to a, a couple of episodes of the CodaCast, the very first episode of the CodaCast was highlighting, you know, this this debate whether an individual who fixes uh, an aircraft that is worth tens of millions of dollars that travels at 600 miles per hour at 35,000 feet which may carry anywhere from 300 to 1,000 passengers each day. And there's this person that is single-handedly responsible for maintaining this aircraft. Everything from the nose to the tail. We can fix it all. We can change a tire and then go fix a weather radar system or a calm nav fault. But now it comes to light. Aircraft mechanic, you, you call this person an aircraft mechanic that, that's tasked with this type of responsibility and the, these, the, these complex systems. This is not working on a 95 Civic. I mean, Flight Global comes out with uh, an interesting article, and this was this is quite some time ago, and it was, it was highlighted uh, back in November, global shortage of aircraft parts and mechanics, mechanics, hampers airline recovery come on but it's come to light flying magazine just recently two weeks ago an article titled 
aircraft maintenance and weathering a pandemic a great article and it it it, it highlights while while the pandemic didn't necessarily cause uh personnel shortages and uh changes and fleets it rapidly accelerated and exasperated the existing industry issues this is a, an article by flying on march 16th and, and, and of most recent aviation news on march 30th titled mechanic pay accelerating will more work go offshore mm-hmm. it's interesting be, i'm just gonna go right past the scooby it's interesting because you know and this is recent and a little bit about that article because i found it very interesting it, it goes into to, to highlighting how not just parts and aerospace uh, metals, the MROs are seeing, you know, escalating in prices, but now labor costs are now accelerating uh, prices as well. And a Teamster union, they, they recently agreed with United, United Airlines, to raise the mechanic mechanics wages and, and now the top payout for a mechanic an aircraft mechanic with united is 70 dollars an hour that works out to about 145k a year now it's 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 interesting because when we look at these numbers and we look at the responsibilities you would tell yourself this is an engineer and i'll tell you what Anywhere else in the world, you'd be right. It's an engineer. A person that fixes an aircraft that's responsible for fixing not one, not two, maybe four $50 million jet engines plus the fuselage. You're speaking about a person that is a, a master craftsman. An AMP is somebody that is, is well-rounded in every mechanical discipline hydraulics fire and protect uh, prior and protection propulsion electrical avionics weather i mean it, it and not only does this person have to know how these systems work but we need to know the science behind it how to fix it how to troubleshoot it now it's it's in the united states Aircraft mechanics are, are those who, who maintain and repair aircraft, you know, rather than someone, an aircraft engineer. And while this may seem like a thematic difference, there, there's a couple of reasons. Like, you know, a couple of reasons why we go into this. Now, I one of the primary reasons that you have the term aircraft mechanic in the United States rather than aircraft engineer, you really look at the regulatory and, and, and the legal requirements and the, and the FAA and the, and the specific regulations and the requirements for individuals to work on airplanes and the qualifications, certifications that aircraft mechanics must go through. Right now, of course, you you know to be to be an aircraft mechanic in the United States, the person must complete formal training. They must gain experience working on an aircraft, and they have to pass uh, quite an extensive series of exams, written exams, oral exams, practical exams to demonstrate their knowledge and their ability to work on this complex system. But call us aircraft mechanic. FAA also requires uh, competency for an A&P in every system of aeronautics. Now, the aircraft, you know, the use of the use of the term aircraft mechanic in the United States, it, yeah, accurately, okay, I guess, you know, it will, it will reflect the qualifications and the responsibilities of the men and women who meet the FAA requirements and the regulations, you know. I'd say that, additionally, I'd say that, you know, it's, 
it's interesting because I'll say this, I, you know, I, I stumbled upon something interesting. Uh, there, there are supporters of the term uh, aircraft engineer. The point, you, you know, and to point out many other countries such as the UK, the United Kingdom, Canada, they use this terminology. Just our next door neighbors, Canada. It's, it's, it's virtually every country but the United States. There's an article in Aviation Week. And there's a former UK uh, chief uh, scientific advisor, Sir David King. And he stated, quote, The term aircraft engineer is one used in the UK and other parts of the world to describe someone who maintains and repairs aircraft. It is a better description of the skills and knowledge needed for the job end quote yes sir you correct a big a big topic a big topic that comes in and a big key is really you know the educational standards you know we have this term aircraft mechanic used in the, Uni- in the united states and it's this so to say professional and educational standards in which we have set for the men and women who work on airplanes. In the United States, aircraft mechanics are not required to hold a uh, university degree or an engineering qualification, unlike in, in other countries where they, may, where they may be referred to as aircraft engineers. Now, it's beneficial. While getting a degree in engineering or related field may benefit those working on airplanes. I have one myself. I teach at the college level. I teach students that will get some sort of degree in in addition to attempting their a and p license at the end of their studies in college and it is beneficial but it's not a requirement in the united states instead the faa certification process ensures that aircraft mechanics have the necessary knowledge and the skills to perform their duties and safely you know as safely and effectively as possible it's it's supporters of using the term aircraft engineer they'll argue that the work performed by those who maintain and repair airplanes is complex and it requires a high a very high technical knowledge and expertise and i may add that if you're not familiar with the job you must know how to multitask you must know how to think on your toes on your feet quick Now, in an article by Seattle Times, aviation writer Dominic Gates, he notes that, quote, aircraft maintenance has evolved into an engineering discipline that requires a higher level of skill and technical expertise that we've seen in the past, end quote. Yes, sir. It's, you know, it's terminology, really, when you think about it. The term aircraft engineer, uh, aircraft mechanic in the United States that's a reflection of the industry terminology and the common usage. It's been, it's been referred to this way for ages. The, the term mechanic, it's often used to describe you know, those who that work with machinery and mechanical systems. And, and technically, that accurately reflects the nature of the work performed by an A&P, by an aircraft mechanic. It's what, you know, while, while the term engineer, engineer may be used in some other countries to describe, you know, the men and women who work on airplanes, the term aircraft mechanic in the United States, it's become the standard term used by the industry and regulatory bodies. Critics, critics of the term aircraft engineer in the United States, they'll argue that the term's misleading and could create confusion about the qualifications required. Ma, in an interview with uh, NBC News, Shara MacLeo, executive director of Aeronautic Repair Station Association, she stated, quote, the term engineer has a specific meaning in the U.S. and those who maintain and repair aircraft do not meet their qualifications 
to be called engineers, end quote. Magalhães' point uh, is supported by the fact that the U.S. the term engineer, it's it is typically reserved for those who hold a university degree, an engineer, or related field, or are licensed by a state of boards. You know, the the distinction recognized by the National Society of Professional Engineers. I note, and I, I'll say this: National Society of Professional Engineers it states. On their website, quote, engineering licensure is a legal and professional designation that demonstrates an individual has met certain educational experience and examination requirements to become an engineer, end quote. What? Hmm? Well, then I got it in my pocket right now. I got the A&P right now in my back pocket. You said it yourself, sir. You... <laughs> I got to say this. Does the term calling someone who's tasked with this responsibility, is it off-putting? Is it the reason why we have a shortage? Put you Turning people off. How many people want to go through that much training and studying and schooling and, and, and exams and so much resources and time? And maybe they don't necessarily at the end want to be referred to as an aircraft mechanic. You know, I'm just saying, and and there's a really real shortage right now. And there's AMPs out there and there's AMPs who don't want to work for airlines. And we in the beginning of this episode, we we you hear how United's paying 70. Now, 70 an hour, 145K a year. And people don't want it. Because AMPs are much more valued in other places. We have an AMP, as I mentioned before, is someone who is a well rounded, well rounded in all systems electrical, plumbing, pneumatics, hydraulics, fire. Keep saying that landing gears. I mean, you name it. Every single system known to mankind is on an aircraft, and we have to know it all. And maybe we don't want to be called aircraft but mechanics. Maybe you could take your seventy dollars. I'll find something double that, and they'll give me the title engineer. Uh, it was interesting because ATCE, and that's the. Uh, American, uh, the Aviation Training Educational Council. They said despite 33% increase, so report, despite a 33% increase in FAA certified mechanics last year, it wasn't enough to put an end to the shortage of the AMP technicians who fix airplanes, like how they're referring to them as technicians. According to the Aviation Technician Education Council, ATEC, a 2022 pipeline report was released. And last year, there were 6,929 people who received their AMP certificates from the FAA. Now, according to the report, now while, while the ATEC, they said it was the biggest increase in recent years, but it's still short of the levels in 2019. And it didn't compensate for the 30% drop in certificates in 2020. I quote them as saying, and this is uh, ATEC president, and WSU uh, Tech Aviation Program Dean uh, James Hall. He's quoted as saying, the number of prospects in the mechanic pipeline needs to grow by at least 20% to meet the industry's needs. National enrollment at AMP schools is only growing at about 2% per year, so we have a lot of work to do, end quote. That was uh, ATEC President and WSU uh, Tech Aviation Program Dean uh, James Hall and I agree with him but it's is it in the right direction now now I'll wrap it in conclusion that while they, there's there's still a growing debate <laughs> that term aircraft engineer describe you know used to describe those who maintain and you know repair airplanes in the United States they're they're valid arguments on both sides Supporters of the term argue that it reflects a high level of technical skill and expertise required for the profession. And then you look in contrast 
and the critics argue that it, it could create confusion about the qualifications required for an AMP job. Ultimately, the use of the terminology in this industry is gonna is likely is, is gonna continue to evolve and is gonna adapt to changing standards and practices. I'd say that it will change, and I'd say that we very much a long time ago deserved that title as an engineer, an aircraft engineer. I, I, you, you, there's just no way about it. And I ask this, the listener. If you're in a and school, is this something that, that is off-putting to you? Will it make you think twice about accepting a job with an airline that, that calls you this? Or are you like, whatever, man. I like getting my hands dirty, man. I just want to fix planes. Those are the best types of mechanics, actually. <laughs> Those are the best types of mechanics. So that about wraps it up, guys. Now... Uh, uh, this week's episode, you know, the, if you guys have not done so already, you have to check out the Crafted Air website at www.craftedair.com. Again, that's www.craftedair.com and get your free initial consultation today. What are you waiting for? Crafted Air, our craft is of the air. Comments or suggestions about uh, this or future episodes, let's get in touch at www.craftedair.com contact us and put in the subject CodaCast. Thanks for listening, guys, to today's episode. Be sure to follow and subscribe to the Crafted Their Instagram, the Twitter. We also got the YouTube channel going. Ah, for the latest, for the latest, you gotta subscribe for the latest CodaCast episode updates. Uh, rate and review the CodaCast. We're streaming now, man. We're streaming on everything. We've gone viral, man. Spotify, Apple, Prime, Pandora, Stitcher, Google Podcasts. Oof! Thank you again for listening, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe. Always see you in the room.